The fat controller sat in his office listening to the noise outside. The passengers were angry. The station master came in. There's trouble in the shed, sir. Henry is sulking, there's no train, and the passengers are saying this is a bad railway. Indeed, said the fat controller, we cannot allow that. He found Gordon, James and Henry looking very cross. Come along, Henry, it's time your train was ready. Henry's not going, said Gordon. We won't shunt like common tank engines. That was Thomas's job. We are important tender engines. You fetch our coaches and we will pull them. Tender engines don't shunt. Oh, indeed, said the fat controller. We'll see about that. Engines on my railway do as they are told. And he hurried away to find Edward. The yard has never been the same since Thomas left to run his branch line, he thought sadly. Edward was shunting. Leave those trucks, please, Edward, said the fat controller. I want you to push coaches for me in the yard. Thank you, sir. That will be a nice change. That's a good engine. Off you go, then. So Edward found coaches for the three engines, and that day the trains ran as usual. Next morning, Edward looked unhappy. Gordon came clanking past, hissing rudely. Bless me, said the fat controller. What a noise. They all hiss me, sir, answered Edward. They say tender engines don't shunt, and last night they said I have black wheels. I haven't, have I, sir? No, Edward, you have nice blue ones, and I'm proud of you. Tender engines do shunt. But all the same, we do need another tank engine here. He went to a workshop and they showed him all sorts of engines. At last he saw a smart little green engine with four wheels. That's the one, he thought. If I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, sir, yes, sir. That's a good engine. I'll call you Percy. Yes, sir, thank you, sir, said Percy. And the fat controller brought him back to the yard. Edward? He called, here's Percy, will you show him everything? Percy soon learned what he had to do, and they had a happy afternoon. Then Henry came by, hissing as usual. Shee! When Percy, Henry jumped and ran back to the shed. How beautifully you weased him, laughed Edward. I can't weesh like that. Oh, said Percy, that's nothing. You should hear them in the workshop. You have to weesh loudly to make yourself heard. Next morning, Thomas arrived. The fat controller sent for me. I expect he wants help, he said to Edward. Shh, here he comes, replied Edward. Well done, Thomas. You've been quick. Listen, Henry Gordon and James are sulking. They say they won't shunt like common tank engines. So I have shut them up and I want you both to run the line for a while. Common tank engines indeed, snorted Thomas. We'll show them. And Percy will help too. Oh, sir, yes, sir, please, sir, answered Percy. Edward and Thomas worked the main line, greeting each other as they passed by. Percy puffed along the branch line. Thomas was anxious about Annie and Clarabel, but both driver and guard promised to take care of them. There were fewer trains, but the passengers didn't mind. They knew the three other engines were having a lesson. Gordon, James and Henry were cold, lonely and miserable. They wished now they hadn't been so silly.